Hey guys, this is Eric from Bulldog. I've got a deluxe range bag here with us today. Uh, this is a great in-between size. It's got all the necessities you need for a great day at the range. Uh, and the inside, it's got a nice little dividable pouch. You can put your hearing protection, a few rounds of ammo. On the outside, it's got a nice uh, pouch that you can unzip and it's got holders for your magazines. It's adjustable shoulder strap. Everything you need for that nice in-between size for a great day at the range. The bag we'll be looking at today is the R2 by Explorer. Um, the general description of this bag would be a large to extra large camera bag or range bag or go bag capable of carrying everything you would need for a day out exploring or a day out at the range. The dimensions of this bag are 18 in this direction, by 15 in this direction, by 12 in this direction. Uh, to go around this bag externally, the entire bag here is made with very high quality, uh, durable ballistic nylon. The strapping is uh, middleweight, standard webbing. The zippers around the entire pack are extremely large and high quality zippers with very smooth flowing um, pulls and all the uh, you know all the zippers have these uh, cord pulls on the end. All the main compartments of this bag are lockable independently so this pocket this pocket this pocket this one and this one are all lockable independently um, all in all a very nicely constructed bag um, you can see at the bottom also it has these rubberized feet so when the bag is completely loaded up um, you have protection scuff protection on the bottom Uh, to get into the internals of this bag, um, I guess we can start on the outside and work our way in. Uh, first of all, on this side, um, the ex very outside of this pocket is a standard open slip pocket that runs this entire area. Inside this pocket, it is an open area and there's about quarter inch thick padding on both the front and back of this pocket. So this pocket is completely padded and protected. Again, these large zippers come together here with eyelets that join and you can put a small padlock or luggage lock through this area here. On the opposite side, um, on the external of this pocket, you have a zippered, non-locking but zippered pocket here um, that runs the entire span here. And then inside this pocket, again, a duplicate to the pocket on the other side, open and fully padded the entire pocket. And then again, independently lockable here. Coming around to the back side of the bag, um, this pocket is this whole area here. Inside, uh, the zippers go all the way to the bottom. The entire flap can be opened. Inside on this section, you see um, seven dividers, which are perfect for um, magazines or any small items that you would need to organize and keep separate here. These are fixed to the bag. Um, in front of that is an open area and this open area, these, this bag comes with a padded divider pocket that has Velcro at the bottom and can be added to this area here to give you separation for one pistol here, one pistol inside this bag here, 
and then one pistol on the outside or any other items in these areas that you might need to keep separated yet protected. The outside of this pouch is protected with quarter inch padding here and then the padding is here, here and on the back of the pouch. Again, this entire compartment is secured via the large zippers and independently lockable. On the front of the bag is a duplicate pocket to the one I just showed you. Zips all the way down. Seven separators for magazines or other items here. And then a removable pouch which can hold a pistol here and then separate it from a pistol on this side and a pistol on this side if you desire. The handle on this bag is uh, nice and it has this cover to combine the handles with this velcro. Opening that up exposes the main compartment of the bag. The main compartment opens flap top here and this top is padded. Inside as you can see um, there are two dividers. These dividers have velcro on the end and can be removed or repositioned as necessary to either divide the pouch this way, to divide the pouch this way if you want to run them off the side, you know, the same one off the same side on both sides, you can have three compartments this way. Um, or take them out all together and have one huge large compartment. Um, the design of this bag allows it to be used in conjunction with um, any form of lockable gun sleeve which you could um, add multiple sleeves each one containing a separate weapon um, in here um, to fit quite a few more guns. I, could, I would say probably up to six to eight more guns could be arranged in this pocket um, if you, you know, cleverly packed it up. Um, again, this entire pocket is completely padded as are these dividers. So everything that you put in this bag is extremely well protected and you don't have to worry about any uh, damage. So now I'm going to um, grab a bunch of items and show you how this bag can be packed for a day at the gun range. So give me one second and I'll be right back. Alright, so to give you one example of how this bag can be packed up for the range, I'm just going to get right into it and uh, fill this thing up. First of all, over here on this side, um, you've got a perfect spot for loose items that don't need to be secured, something like gloves, something that, um, you know, you don't, if it were to fall out, it wouldn't be detrimental to your system. Um, so gloves fit in nice and neat right there. Inside this padded pocket here, you could go ahead and put, uh, here is a pouch full of tools used on the range. And here's a pouch for uh, sp various speed loaders for pistol uh, magazines. Load up right there and to keep your tools protected you can throw a lock right in there. On this side you've got the zippered pocket. Uh, here is a notepad and a protected cover. fits right in and then a couple large markers that you may need for marking targets or whatever they fit in there perfectly in this other section pocket here uh, there's plenty of room for tons of ammunition uh, there's a hundred rounds right there another hundred rounds right here and you still have tons more room for a lot more rounds um, whatever you might need Zip that up and again, lockable. Uh, the back here, can go ahead and uh, 
load these pockets up with magazines. There's five magazines right there, and uh, you still have room. If you have something like a separate tool or something you want to place right there, uh, it fits as you can see, no problem. And then here is a pistol with a weapon light in this padded compartment right here, and you still have room if you have more items that need to go in with this pistol or relevant to this setup here lockable on the back here I mean on the front same thing more magazines and these pouches are large enough that will fit pretty much any caliber magazines you can see there's plenty of play in these pouches to allow for um, even larger magazines to you be uh, using something of a larger caliber again there's still room uh, large folding knife fits right in no problem in this pocket you've got another pistol nice and protected and plenty of room for any extra items inside the main pouch uh, maybe you have it divided this way you may have some extra pistols with independent sleeves that you could file into this first uh, separator here as far as the other areas um, here's two sets of large electronic ear pro no problem still plenty of room on top if you have more items there and then here's two sets of eye protection and as you can see there's still plenty of room I could easily fit four of these cases across here at least um, I could still fit another two sets of ear pro if necessary for up to four shooters and like I said you could still file a couple more weapons in independent uh, lockable sleeves right here and everything right there all zippered up and ready for a day at the range. This has been a look at the R2 by Explorer. For more information on this or any other Explorer bag, please visit www.explorebag.com. If you're interested in buying one of these products, links to all the products mentioned in this video are in the description down below. If you like and found this video helpful, don't forget to give a like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.